hi guys welcome back to my channel if it's the first time you've seen this face hello hi my name is Topsy if you're a returning subscriber then welcome back so my t-shirt says keto and fine well that's what I say to my kids when they ask me what does AF mean so just in case their children watching my video I don't think I have children but just in case there are this means keto and fine okay i did quit keto not permanently but i did quit keto for a good over a week i want to say about 10 days i know crazy right but i did go on a holiday and i enjoyed myself let's just put it that way not to say that i don't enjoy myself on keto i do but you know i'm human I want to enjoy and let's be real carbs taste really good they do sugar tastes amazing it does so I indulged I indulged for 10 days which is the longest actually I would say that I have been off keto normally when I do go off keto maximum is normally about three days I don't go two to three days and I'm back on plan but I went off plan for the longest while on holiday and I wanted to, to film this video to share with you what my experiences were during that time when I was off plan aka not eating keto so if you like to know what those experiences are just in case you're on keto and you're thinking of going off plan you know what my experiences were might not be um, the same for you and um, you might have different experiences to me but I just thought I'd share my experiences from my point of view what I notice when I go off plan so if you would like to know what um, my experience was going off plan for 10 days then keep watching so what I would say that I experienced was um, a lot of bloating immediately I I think after day one I just noticed that I was bloated when you reduce carbohydrate considerably from your diet you um, immediately lose a lot of water weight and me reintroducing more carbs and let's be real when I was on holiday I was introducing healthy carbs I was eating all the desserts bread rice everything because I was you know enjoying so I didn't notice that I was bloated a lot I felt heavy all the time well the obvious one would be that I did gain weight my clothes were feeling tighter I don't really weigh myself anymore to be honest because I find that I get so obsessed with a certain number and I've sort of divorced my scale for now I haven't weighed myself in about three months quite a while ago because I wanted to go more about on how I felt in my clothes how I felt in myself but I know that I have gained weight because my clothes are feeling much tighter <laughs> so yeah that I would say that's definitely um, yeah weight gain is a given if you go off plan um, but it's mainly water weight I'll be honest it's just your body holding on to water and I feel like I would soon lose that once I get in the groove of things back on keto TMI yeah I found that I was releasing a lot of gas more than I normally would and there were um, let's say I don't even know how to say this to make it sound nice um, just gonna say it, it smelled bad normally I mean when I'm on keto when I do release gas it doesn't smell my fart smells normally of nothing you just fart and nothing smells it's just like nothing happened it was like a non-smelling fart but while eating carbs, oh child, it smelled so bad. Yeah, yeah, so I did notice that a lot of smelly farts. I did also find, there are a lot of TMIs in this video, so you know, 
if you don't like listening to this sort of things, I am sorry, but I just have to keep it real with you guys what my experiences were. I did also find that I had more bowel movements than I normally do, sometimes two or three times a day, which was a lot for me. So yeah, that was that. I also noticed that I had a lot of inflammation. What I mean by inflammation is I had a lot of pains in my joints, like my elbows, my knees. I started to feel achy, if that makes sense. Even me like pressing my back, like just like touching my, my skin, I felt pains. Not like terribly painful, like I was, it was making me feel like I couldn't get up and do life. No, not that bad. But I definitely felt achy. Another thing I experienced was that I wasn't sleeping as well. I just didn't feel like I was getting a good night's sleep, you know, like quality sleep, um, eating sugar and carbs. Um, yeah, so I would say that my sleep was definitely affected. I also felt that in reintroducing carbs into my life at that time meant that I had more cravings. I just couldn't stop eating them. It's like I would eat breakfast and I would two hours later want something more, more carbs. So I felt like I was craving. The more carbs I started eating, the more I wanted them, the more I craved them, if that makes sense. Yes, I definitely felt like compared to on keto when my carbs was significantly reduced, I didn't crave them, but when I started eating carbs again, I craved them more. I definitely experienced more headaches during that time. It's not like a migraine or like really heavy head or like really bad headache, but you know when you just have it niggling at you in the background and I felt like I just needed to take maybe paracetamol just to take the edge off, yeah, that sort of thing. I definitely experienced more um, sort of headache headaches at that time which is obviously as a result of the sugar. I would also say that I was less tolerant at that time. I was very snappy, obviously affecting my mood. Um, so I wasn't as tolerant as I would be if I was on keto. Yeah. So yeah, my, I had mood swings basically. So yeah. That's where my experiences, that's what, what I experienced while off plan on keto. Would I still do it again if I knew that I would get all this um, symptoms, I guess? Yes, absolutely, because I did not regret one day of all the yummy foods that I ate and enjoyed while on vacation. Um, it's a lifestyle, this keto. So I knew that once I got back home, which I am at home now, that I was going to get back on plan so while I was away I allowed myself to enjoy myself to the fullest without a second thought or me regretting any decisions that I made so I would definitely say even if you're on keto or any other lifestyle live a little enjoy yourself you know have fun don't restrict yourself even when you're on holiday or if it's a birthday celebration or, or whatever you give your, yourself permission to go off plan, enjoy it thoroughly. So yeah, pretty much I just decided to film this video just to share my experiences with you um, to let you know that what I what my experience was going off plan for that long. I'm back, I'm keto and fine and um, yeah. Let me know what your experiences have been going off plan on any lifestyle that you are on, keto or not, in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you did, then give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out to watch this video. I appreciate you. And I will catch you guys in another video very soon. Take care, guys. Bye.